living through the golden age of dinosaur discoveries. From all over the world, a whole new generation of dinosaurs has been revealed. From the biggest giants and the deadliest killers to the weird and the wonderful. From the Arctic to Africa, from South America to Asia, using the latest evidence for the first time, we have a truly global view of these incredible animals. In this program, we examine the new giants, the heavyweights of the dinosaur world. It's only in recent years that we have unearthed the biggest dinosaurs that ever lived. Animals on such a huge scale, it is difficult to comprehend. Just how and why did these titans grow so massive? And could any animal attack such a huge beast? One of these new giants has eclipsed all others. At 35 meters, it was as long as Diplodocus, yet this dinosaur was seven times as heavy. The first glimpse of this new giant was made in the 1990s during a dig in Argentina. In Patagonia, a fossil was pulled from the ground. It was a single vertebra, but it was as tall as a human being. Other bones followed. They belong to the biggest dinosaur ever known to have walked the Earth. It lived in South America 95 million years ago, in a world very different from our own, a world that is only now giving up its secrets. Start of a new life. But on these plains, danger is never far away. This is a Chiangopterid pterosaur, attracted to the easy prey of a nest site. Throughout the late 1990s, extraordinary dinosaurs were uncovered in Argentina. At one location, a nest site was found, so full of dinosaur eggs that they could barely avoid crushing them underfoot. Some eggs even contained exquisitely preserved dinosaur embryos. Then in 1999, at the same nest site, a complete adult dinosaur skeleton was uncovered it appeared they'd found the parent. But first impressions can be deceptive. This isn't the parent. This is a Scorpio venator, a predator. 
The skeleton found at the nest site was almost certainly a nest raider, preying on the hatchlings. Hatchling's real parent and the owner of the enormous vertebra is Argentinosaurus. A plant-eating giant that dwarfs everything around it. From the bones that were found, We've calculated that Argentinosaurus was a colossal 35 meters long and weighed as much as 75 tons. When born, the hatchlings themselves weigh a paltry five kilograms and need to fend for themselves immediately. From studying the embryos and looking at the bones of the adults, we know that the growth of these giants was phenomenal. Over 40 years, they grow from five kilograms to an astonishing 75,000 kilograms. At their peak, it's been calculated they grow up to 40 kilograms every day. The dinosaur embryos are so well preserved we can see they already have their teeth in preparation for a lifetime of eating. But becoming a giant takes more than simply turning tons of food into muscle. It's about the success and survival of a species over millions of years. One way to increase the chances of survival is by having lots of offspring. And the best way to do that is by laying eggs. Lots of them. The nest site in Patagonia stretches for an astonishing 15 kilometers and contains tens of thousands of eggs. And the site was used continuously for hundreds of thousands of years. For killers like Scorpio Veneta, the nest site provides a feast. But with thousands of hatchlings, they have little impact on the success of the species and pose no threat to the adults. But wherever we find giant plant eaters, there is always a giant killer lurking nearby. And sure enough, another startling discovery was made in Argentina. In the same region, a nearly complete skeleton of an enormous predator was unearthed amazingly well preserved. The skull alone was over a meter and a half long. And when a second, even larger specimen was found, it became clear that this was bigger than any predator that had been found before bigger than T-Rex. It was clear that giant predators roamed South America as well. And it appeared that Argentinosaurus may have met its match. <laughs> 